Okay, well, good morning. And um, Maya and I were excited this morning. She's in the back, back there. We are um, on our way. We're about 20 minutes away from um, our first retriever test. And uh, I think I am definitely way more <laughs> nervous than she is. She's uh, pretty much chilling back there, um, laying down. But we wanted to kind of get you guys in on it a little bit to see what uh, this is all about. Never have been on um, a retriever trial or test. Uh, all I've seen is some YouTubes. Um, and so I really don't know what to expect. I think that, um, you know, there's three levels of this, you know, a start of the season and a, and a finish. And um, you know, I like to think that Maya could um, do the, uh, the season test. And I know she's capable of, of um, the, the test and what she's, what she's doing. But I've been told and, and read that your first time you should just do a started. It's a real simple, it's a two single um, land retrieves. And, um, oh, what's my turn right here? I gotta follow these guys right here. Two single land retrieves and two single water retrieves. There's no, um, diversions uh, or anything like that so it's real simple um, not hard to do and um, but so we're gonna try that they say because of the number of dogs and all the scents and just the atmosphere guns going off um, that if you never have done it and then your dog really could um, you know get get sideways so you don't know how they're going to act so anyway that's kind of what we're doing right now kind of bringing you on like we're about 20 minutes away right now i will keep you posted hopefully uh i'll be able to share some um, some video clips of that throughout the day um if i can find somebody that a video for me or actual um test so uh, until then let's talk to you later okay so uh first rookie mistake um i thought uh, I had a pair of dark, like real dark brown pants, and I thought that would be sufficient with camouflage hat and shirt. But um, you got to have camouflage pants or shorts and shirt. And uh, so, like idiot, I had to um, borrow some from my guy here. But man, they've been nice so far, kind of helping me out, telling me pointing which way to go. The fog is crazy. I'm um, right here at the truck, just trying to to change up. I'll. Uh, I'll show you just a few moments. I'm fixing to walk down there to the uh, the starting spot. I don't know if I told you or not, but I'm in Rome, Georgia today. Etowah River Hunt Club uh, is who's putting on this um, hunt today. They're hosting it at the Kingston Downs property, which I've been to the property several times. Um, beautiful place up here, but never for a dog hunt or a trial. Um, anyway, uh, or hunt test. So anyway, I'll let you know here in just a few minutes how it goes. All right. Okay, so here's the grounds. Um, we we're running right down through there in a few moments. You can't hardly see it because it's so stinking foggy right there, but it's uh, it's crazy foggy. They're actually waiting a little while before they do it. So, um, look, this is, uh, I'm a, uh, <laughs> I know this is dumb. I got so nervous already. I don't know why. Um, she's done this a thousand times, but um, I don't know. Pressure's on, right? We'll see how she does. So, Maya, what do you think? Maya, what do you think about all this, huh? You ready to get this done, girl? You ready to get it done? Super foggy today. Okay, so um, my dog number is 20. Um, that's not the order that I run. I actually, I think I run number eight. Um, they wonder if I want to run the front or back. I was like, <laughs> let me see a couple of them first, right? So I think they got me into eight. But right now they're, they're waiting because it's so foggy that they don't want to run the dogs. 
um, until it, it clears up a little bit. So that's kind of where we're at right now. But we run in number eight. The first room, the first deal is the land. Maya, come here. The first one is the uh, land retreat. Uh, and then probably after lunch, we'll go to um, the uh, water retreat. So hopefully I'm gonna get somebody behind me. Maybe that will uh, video the run here. We'll see if, if I can do that or not. All right, I'm flipping pumped up. Stinking emotional too, I don't know why. <clears throat> she nailed it. <laughs> flipping nailed it. Um, I'm still shaking, I'm still nervous. I cannot believe how nervous I got on that. No man, off the work. Lord has been so good to us. Lord has been so good to us. And, uh, all the work. Practice and training just paid off the day. I mean, in a way, you know, the first time, the first hunt, or the first field test, hunt test. Um, and I hadn't seen the video yet. I hadn't seen, um, I had a lady uh, ask her if she'd video it for me, and she did. And if I haven't watched the video yet, and she rocked it. That was exciting. My adrenaline is uh, still ripping through my veins right now. So that was good. That was really good to get my uh, get the land down, get it behind you. Um, she got the wing when she picked up the first one. The wing flipped over on top of her eye and she couldn't see coming back. It was just, I mean, I have never seen it do that before. Of course it did here. And so when she came back, she came back towards um, uh, the guy who was shooting. Um, Cause all she could see was, uh, I think a figure right there. Uh, of course the second one she could see fine, she picked up fine. But, uh, and I am jazzed, I am pumped. Yeah, she did good, you did good, didn't you, huh? She did good. That she could go all day like doing that right there. As soon as the guns went off, as soon as the guns went off, um, she was she used money. She smelt ducks and and um, and uh, gunpowder. <laughs> it was it was over at that point. She did fine walking up to the line. I mean, like I, said, I hadn't seen the video yet, but everything so far that I uh, could tell, she did pretty good. So we'll see how she does in the water. Hopefully, she does as good in the water as she did in land. 
they're still doing it. She's ready to go even more right now. So, all right, I'll uh, get that water here in just a little while. Okay, um, getting ready to do the water test and um, any cover that we had earlier that had fog that kept the temperature down was burnt up a long time ago because it is smoking out here right now. Uh, fix on the water test is similar to the land test where you got two um, retrieves, two single retrieves in the water. Um, hopefully we'll nail these as well. Um, running number 12, I think. So we'll see how it goes in a minute. Okay, so uh, we just finished. Uh, I'm not near as emotional this time <laughs> as I was last time, uh, but we, we, we called it, we passed. We, we did get, she cheated a little bit. I hadn't seen the video yet, but I know she cheated a little bit, I think going in and coming out a little bit, but that a lot of that has to do with the way I've trained her, not training her for hunt tests, obviously for, for trials and things like that. Cause when we're hunting, when I'm hunting, uh, especially when it's icy and it's cold. I won't, I don't mind her. I don't want her in the water. I want her in the water as least amount of time as possible. And so, um, I, I think it's just a smart dog personally, uh, that would run down bank and then get in, 
get out and get on back. Um, but that's not frown, that's frowned upon in uh, trials and, and hunt testing like that. So that's something we'll work on and get a little bit better on it. But man, I'm excited. Uh, I think, I don't even know. I, I was, somebody said you would get your ribbon now. And so I didn't, I didn't even know you get a ribbon uh, for like a pass or something like that. So I'm gonna go over to the big tent and uh, I won't be able to be here tomorrow, obviously. I'll be preaching um, in the morning. And so I won't be able to come back up for the second day hunt. So I'm gonna hopefully, maybe I'll get that ribbon or whatever and I'm gonna head back to the house. Anyway, uh, man, I'm glad you guys come along with me and uh, hopefully I'll get this thing uh, posted up on YouTube uh, for the two people that'll watch it. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up the the day, um, the first day of hunt test for me and Maya, and the way it felt, maybe the first of, of a few of them anyway. Um, she's there in the back. Maya, wanna say hello? Riding in style, and I'm gonna ride in the air conditioning today on the way home. Beautiful day. Uh, this uh, I don't know, ninth or tenth day of October, Saturday. Um, man, it was just very, very satisfying, very fulfilling. Be able to, to see what your dog, you know, how they, how do they measure up? Um, are they going to be able to perform under pressure? And I mean, I was really, really pleased um, for the very first time. Um, Maya typically when we're duck hunting different things like that with um, other uh, dogs uh, in a lot of different places I mean up till now she's just not like super amicable I mean she's just more like now when we're hunting she's business and, and ready to do it and she's just very um, usually pretty timid um, real close to me uh, protective uh, that don't cut any other dogs any slack or whatever. Today is totally different. I don't, I don't understand it. There was dogs all around her. There was dogs uh, in and out. I mean, it, it was just crazy. A bunch of people, a bunch of different dogs, a lot of hunting, shooting, ducks, and things like that. So I was, I was, there was one time a big old uh, male, uh, we were sitting next to him. I mean, right there, you know, they're within three feet of each other, two feet of each other. And he, he came over two or three times and got right up on me like on my toes, stepping on my toes actually, and she was, got in between us one time, and she did one little, you know, you know one little one little growl, like, okay. The first first time or two, uh, she didn't say anything. It was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna act like I didn't see that one, <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. Um, and then about the third time he got up on me, she did a little, like, okay, that, that's enough. That That's, I'm not going to let you do that anymore. Uh, but she didn't take off. She didn't go after him or nothing like that. Or anything. So that was, I was, I was glad for that. Met some really super sweet people up here. Um, everybody up here is real nice. Everybody wants you to succeed, which is one thing I like really about this uh, hunt test. Uh, you're not real. You're not competing against uh, other dogs. Um, you're competing against yourself. You're competing against the test. And so it's not like there's a first, second, or third place deal in these hunt tests. You're competing against your level, against the test itself. And, and once you make enough passes, then you, you start getting your titles. And so it was exciting. It was a great opportunity, uh, a great first, first deal there. And um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot in our area. Of course, I'm so busy. I don't have a whole lot of time to chase hunt test or anything like that but i am going to try to catch another one or two uh if i can this year on a saturday to try to get some more points see if i can start getting her some uh some titles anyway but uh look forward to uh the next time i found some things i do need to work on and so i'm looking forward to that but anyway thanks again um oh i got the ribbon up here i'll, I'll just post a I just post a picture of it at the end of this video so you can see me and her doing our cheese at the end thanks take care now another thing I was thinking um, 
I wanted to give a, a shout out to those who uh, are helping make make this journey possible for the Send Me Dog Ministries. Uh, this is what it, what this is about, and um, so I have some, some companies and some individuals um, who, have, um, who have given and donated and are sponsoring uh, Send Me Dog Ministries, and, and you're we're always looking for new sponsors and new donors for sure. We we, we we can use all all of that. Um, but I'd like to thank All Face Construction Company, uh, the Davis Company, real estate company, um, and then also I have some uh, RWN Roofing, is also a sponsor, and then some individual uh, donors as well. The Lord just blessed me with some. Some, some good people there, and um, if you'd like to, to sponsor Send uh, Me Dog Ministries, uh, maybe just reach out to us. You can go to our website, sendmedogministries.org, uh, and or reach out to me uh, through Instagram or YouTube uh, through our website, and uh, we'd love to partner with you. But I just want to reach out to those guys, and gals, and be happy to tell them thank you so much.